on in, Ming. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Thank you for coming. May, I'd like to introduce you to our team. This is Bob Johnson, our manager of environmental projects. Nice to meet you, May. Nice to meet you too. And Joseph Cardinal, our regulatory compliance manager. Welcome. Oh, sorry, I have a cold. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Please have a seat. Thank you. Can I get you some coffee, a glass of water? No, thank you. Are you sure? A cup of tea, perhaps? No, thank you. I just had some tea. So how was the traffic coming in today? I got stuck for a half hour on the way in. But it should have died down by now. I came here okay. What about parking? Did you find parking okay? Parking was not necessary. It could be a real pain, especially in the winter. And after they plow, cuts off our parking lot completely. Nothing gets through those windrows. Not even my four-wheel drive. <laughs> yes, well, I guess by now you know how hard our winters can be. And how did you get here today, May? Did you take the bus? The bus does not come frequently. Not at this time. My husband drove me. Smart. Avoiding the parking altogether. Okay. What do you say now? We uh, get down to business? Good idea. Now, May, we're going to ask you a series of questions, and after that, you'll have a chance to ask us any that you might have. Sound okay? Yes, it's good. Bob, why don't you start us off? Right. Okay, now, May, uh, can you tell us why you want to work for our company? What's your motivation? Mm, motivation comes when the team works well together. We listen and discuss with other about how to solve our technical problems. Then we combine our knowledge to complete our projects. This is the way we reach our goals. Good. And what would you say attracts you to our company? Mm, yes. I'm attracted to your company based on what I learned from the research I conducted. And this position requires high levels of technical and human skills and good experience. Okay, uh, now can you tell us what interests you about becoming a senior team leader with our environmental services group? Mm, I'm interested in this position because of the responsibility. In a recent project in China, our design team worked together on the Three Gorges Dam in Hubei province. Between 2003 and 2008, we worked there. To complete this project was a very good experience. It brought long-term benefits to the people. And so how does this align with your own career goals? For my own career goals, my career goal is to join my knowledge with specialist knowledge from other professionals. My education in China was Tsinghua University, and my technical experience have been with strong national companies. For the future, the success of your company will come from combining these kind of skills and working hard together. Okay, now, uh, how about we get down to some specifics? Can you give us an example of a recent time where you had to motivate your team members to complete a project on time and on budget? Mm. Yes, what approach did you use? Our design team worked on a difficult project that was last year. We had some problems when the client wanted us to finish on time. And we asked them to be patient with us, and we would try to keep our word. Our group was strong and motivated. The team worked many long hours to do a good job. And we had our good plan based on past work. And we finished on time. We gain respect from the client. Also, the company saved money when we designed some innovative technology. 
Okay. Uh, what about conflict? Can you give us an example of a time when you managed conflict between team members? Mm. Yes, that was the same project. At the beginning, there were some disagreement about our priorities. Some members said more safety requirements were necessary. And other members said the budget was too small for that. At the end, together, we found a way that saved money and provided safety to the local community. And how exactly did you manage this? We managed this by gathering the data and analyzing it together. And what leadership skill did you use with the team? We were a good team who knew we must analyze information from many sources. And then we discussed the problem together and found what was missing. What was the final outcome? The final outcome... The result... Oh, the result was good. We learned that we needed to discuss with community leaders. The company made a formal agreement with the local community. The client was satisfied about the budget and the safety. Very good. And finally, May, could you tell us what makes you a good candidate for this position? My education in China is strong. My technical experiences in China and Canada are worthy. I have worked as a team lead for six years and I want to share these experiences with people to do a great job for your company and for Canada. Thank you. Now, we've asked you a lot of questions. Do you have any questions for us? Yes. How many people are in the environmental services group? In this location? Yes, in this location. Well, it varies because we have casual short-term employees as well as student positions. But in terms of full-time professional engineers and geologists, we have around 25. That would be in your group. Is that about right, Bob? Yeah, that's about right. Do you have any other questions? That was my only question. Well, thank you for coming in, May. Thank you for meeting me. Thank you, Mr. Johnson, for your valuable time. Nice meeting you. Thank you, Mr. Joseph. Thanks again, May. Thank you, Mr. Shi. We'll be in touch sometime next week.